Jill from Denver asks, I recently lost my job as a software analyst and then the transmission on my Toyota went out. Then the hard drive on my MacBook crashed. I don't have enough money to fix both. What should I do? What? Well, maybe you should just make softer wear analyzers. I'm really sorry to hear that your, what was it, your transmission went missing? Do you happen to remember what he or she was wearing when they went out? Perhaps we could organize some sort of a search party. I think she's trying to communicate. Ava asks, I'm muggle-born and I have a crush on a muggle boy. Should I tell him that I'm a witch? And if so, how can I make the relationship work? I don't think you should tell him because if you tell him, then he'll suspect that you're going to put a love potion into, what is it the muggles drink? Windex? Of course you should tell him. Magic is awesome. He'll think you're so cool. And if he doesn't and he freaks out or something, you can just obliviate him and then try again. Infinite opportunities to impress your crush. I told you magic is awesome. Statistically speaking, less than 15% of couples have magical, non-magical crossover, probably due to the exact issue that you're experiencing. I would suggest that you try to find a more realistic target for your affections. Oh, that's all right, because your skills will complement each other really well. You can just use your wand and whip up some dinner, and he can, um, um, well, well, you can fly in your room down to the market and pick up the things that you're going to need, and he can, um, well, there's, there's got to be something that muggles can do that wizards can't do, right? <laughs> Ava asks, I'm a person writing in task Hogwarts. <laughs> Muggings, is that a muggle thing? That's a muggle thing. The alphabet, the wizard alphabet, are they the same? Yes. And by joking, I mean in my mind with myself. <laughs> Girl.